Question 11. What is a diaphragm? Answer. Partitions between pressure stages in a turbine's casing are called diaphragms. They hold the vein-shaped nozzles and seals between the stages. Usually labyrinth-type seals are used. On a half of the diaphragm is fitted into the top of the casing, the other half into the bottom. Question 12. What are the two basic types of steam turbines? Answer. Impulse type. Reaction type. Question 13. What are topping and superposed turbines? Answer. Topping and superposed turbines are high pressure non-condensing units that can be added to an older, moderately pressure plant. Topping turbines receive high pressure steam from new high pressure boilers. The exhaust steam of the new turbine has the same pressure as the old boilers and is used to supply the old turbines. Question 14. What is a combination thrust and radial bearing? Answer. This unit has the ends of the babbit bearing extended radically over the end of the shell. Collars on the rotor face these thrust pads, and the journal is supported in the bearing between the thrust collars. Question 15. What is cavitation? Answer. Cavitation is the formation of vapor cavities air bubbles in a liquid. Question 16. What is positive displacement pump? Answer. Positive displacement pumps are those that operate by forcing a fixed volume of fluid from the inlet pressure section of the pump into the discharge zone of the pump. Question 17. What is kinematic viscosity? Answer. The kinematic viscosity is the ratio of absolute viscosity to the density of the liquid. Question 18. Differentiate between the uniform flow and non-uniform flow. Answer. Uniform flow. The flow is defined as uniform flow when in the flow field the velocity and other hydrodynamic parameters do not change from point to point at any instant of time. Non-uniform flow. When the velocity and other hydrodynamic parameters changes from one point to another the flow is the ined as non-uniform flow. Question 19. What is the difference between the unsteady uniform flow and steady uniform flow? Answer. Unsteady uniform flow changes with time. Steady uniform flow does not change with time. Question 20. What is coefficient of contraction? Answer. Coefficient of contraction is the ratio of area of jet that we now contract to the area of orifice. The typical value may be taken as 0.64 for a sharp orifice concentric with the flow channel. The smaller the value, the more effect the Wiener contractor has.